Jerome Block finally showed up for work today and he admitted he has a drug problem. The PRC commissioner has been accused of ripping off taxpayers by running up charges on his gas card. He's even suspected of stealing a car. All the while, Block has been MIA in hiding until today. News 13's Amanda Goodman is live in the news place. Well, Block says all the allegations against him have taken their toll. He says that stirred up some demons, namely an addiction to prescription pills. I wanted to, to come clean because the, the battle that I'm facing is a battle that a lot of New Mexicans are facing right now. Commissioner Jerome Block finally showed up for work today and admitted he's got a problem with prescription pills, a problem he says started about two and a half years ago, around the time he was elected to the PRC and accused of misspending campaign cash. I've been um, uh, getting treatment for it. It's a daily battle and, uh, you know, it's... It's uh, something that, uh, you know, I didn't plan, I didn't want, and it's unfortunate, but uh, I'm receiving help. But Block says his demons resurfaced recently. On August 2nd, the Attorney General's office refiled criminal charges against Block and his father for misspending that campaign cash. A couple days later, allegations surfaced that Block was misusing his state-issued gas card to the tune of thousands of dollars. And there's more. Last week, a Santa Fe car dealership said Block took a used Honda Accord for a test drive nearly a month ago, but never brought it back. The recent allegations that surfaced caused a lot of a lot of stress on me, and uh, yes, I, I will seek medical attention and uh, you know getting evaluated and, and want to move on. While Block was seeking medical attention over the last 12 days or so, his fellow PRC commissioners stripped him of his title as vice chair and called for his resignation. Today, Block told commissioners he's not stepping down. It's good that he's cleared some of the air with regard to what's been going on. But I think with all the allegations that are out there, I don't believe that he'll be able to be an effective commissioner through the end of his term. While Block came clean about his drug problem, he wasn't ready to come clean about anything else. So are you denying all the allegations against you in relation to the gas car? There's also the stolen uh, car. I, you know, I'm not going to respond to any of that. You know, I, I, I just wanted to, um, you know, come, come uh, clean with you folks and with New Mexicans, and I think I've done that. And, it's pretty much the end of this. Well, how, 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 how? And Blocks, Block says he is clean now and fully capable of doing his job. Investigators haven't said if Block was using his gas card to fill up other people's cars for money, but they do think he was putting gas in multiple cars and that he used his co-workers' passwords to buy gas. Dick? All right, Amanda Block says the only way he will leave office is if he is forced out. The legislature might take him up on that during its special session next month.